welcome to Mapping for Elite Force RPGX. This is the second part which will cover how to build walls and other solid surfaces, what special textures do, adding a spawn point and how to compile and test your map. So we've loaded up GTK Radiant, it's a brand new map and as you can see this is the interface we were introduced with last time. So the first thing we want to do is make a wall. So using our mouse, we go into the grid, which is in top down view. And all we have to do is drag a box and that has produced a block, which is that far across and one block high. You can see in the graphical view here where we can right click to pan around. We can then use the height bar to increase the height. Pressing escape to deselect, we can draw another. And that has come out at the same height of, as the first one. So if we do that again, And again, we now have a box. Add a floor. Again, same procedure. But this time, we want to go down one and drag it all the way down. To make it easy to put the ceiling in, what we can do is use shift and left click to select a wall press escape and when we draw the box now it's the same height as the last selected block which we can just go up one and drag all the way up press escape we have a box it's not very nice though saying shader not found so what we're going to do now is load in some textures so on the textures menu we are going to load common. These are the main textures used throughout most maps. As you can see, we've got quite a few different things. So pressing Control, Alt and Shift. And in this view, a surface, we can texture just that area. So. Let's make that a dirt floor and put some walls in that you can actually see. So that do and a ceiling. Now we have our room. Pretty straightforward. So that is it. You'll notice that when I was building it, I kept the surfaces non-touching around the edges. That's more of a performance thing than anything. If we zoom out, you'll see the outside. So that is your box. Let's now talk about some special textures. The first one being the chalk texture. Chalk is the texture you want to use when you actually build your map. This is a non-rendered texture. So when you compile the map and play it inside Elite Force, you're, you never see it. So we use that for all the non-seen surfaces, such as outside. We'd only render that one surface the player sees with a texture they can see. Now there are some other variations of chalk which are slightly different. There is clip, which basically an invisible wall. The player can walk up to it, but they can't go past it. There's a similar one, which is a block player. The clip one is far easier to use though. There are other special ones. You have origin for when you're doing 
objects that move. We will cover that later on. Same with trigger. So let's put this back into a usable wall. And go back inside. So we want to make a spawn point. We do that by right clicking, which gives us our um, menu of different objects we can put in. And it's in the info menu. And it's info player deathmatch or start in this case. And as you can see, that has produced a red box with an arrow facing out of it. We can change which at where the arrow points, which is the way the player will look when they spawn by pressing the N key, which brings up this box. And using the grid down here, you can change which direction it faces. So now that's in, we can close that. And that is your first map complete. To render it, you want to go to the BSP menu and click the BSP minus meta option. That then sets the program about doing things, sign off with saving it. So let's call it first map. That is saved and you can see the compiler program now running. So compile your program and put all the stuff you need in your maps folder. You can then launch Elite Force uh, and press in the console key, which is the one just to the left of the number one. You can type in map and the map name. I'll then load the map up and you can test it. If you want cheats enabled, um, on Silent Hollow Match, it's Dev Map. If you want to be able to use No Clip and God on the RBGX mod, you will have to use Admin Login to get those features. So that is it. You have your first map. The next uh, part will be looking at how to create doors, more into that property box you saw earlier with the angles, and some advanced doors. So tune in next time. Have fun and happy mapping.